So there's one more thing I want to talk about um, with the Holstrom diagram, and that is um, related to the Reynolds number. So we have the Reynolds number as the flow speed, the flow depth, the density of the fluid, and the viscosity of the fluid. And this diagram is uh, for water, liquid water. Uh, the same uh, process can happen, work with air and other fluids. All right, so the, the, um, but because we're talking about water, the density and viscosity are the same. And we have the flow velocity on our vertical axis here. Um, the turbulence is really important for transporting grains, and the Reynolds number um, uh, captures that average turbulence. So we have this issue with the flow depth, and as the flow depth increases, the turbulence also increases. Thus, the Holstrom diagram has to assume a specific uh, a flow depth, and that's shown right here. So it's a flow depth of one meter. So it assumes L equals one meter. Obviously, flow depths vary uh, a huge amount in natural systems. And so the Holstrom diagram is uh, good for one particular flow depth. But you could imagine that if the flow speed is, for example, lower, uh, somewhere at one, but your flow depth is significantly larger, there'll, there will be more turbulence, and a flow speed uh, at this, um, one meter will transport uh, fine sand, or sand, fine sand will be deposited. You could imagine that if you increase the flow depth enough, maybe a uh, very coarse sand could still be um, uh, 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 transported um, uh, given that higher turbulence with the deeper flow. Okay. So uh, we're just going to use the Holstrom diagram for this class, but there are also Shields diagrams which are three-dimensional. And so they plot uh, grain size on the x-axis, and then they have uh, flow speed and flow depth as y and z. Um, and so it depends. Usually, we keep uh, the flow depth, uh, the fl excuse me, the flow velocity as Z, so the Shields diagram matches the Holstrom diagram, and then do the uh, flow depth in the third, direct, uh, the third dimension. Uh, so this is a, a more complicated relationship, and there have been a lot of really great um, flume experiments to uh, calibrate the Shields diagram and the Holstrom diagram uh, with the um, flow characteristics. Thanks for watching.